welcome everyone. Today is a Thursday and I've got a little unboxing of goodies. So I had issues with my mouse recently. I've got to send that off to PC Case Gear to get fixed up. But I also had a mate of mine in my clan um, pull apart my old laptop. Um, it was buggered and I'll add them one. So the most usable part out of it, because it was DDR2 RAM, is a hard drive. So I've been wanting a bigger drive for uh, university. Um, so I figured a 160 gig S, um, not SSD, sorry, SATA hard drive would come in really handy instead of like a 4 gig, 8 gig, 8 gig, um, the 4, 8, 16 uh, USB C. So I researched around and found. For about 15 bucks, they've got a laptop external caddy you can buy. Um, you might was stuffing me around, so I went through a mate of mine. Uh, he hooked me up. With, we got a mouse and a couple other things as well. So let's have a look at the box. So I've, I've opened it up already just to check it was the right one because I'm expecting two packages this week. The hard drive, caddy, and... Uh, a couple other things in this one but I was also expecting a delivery from the UK I fixed a guy's computer in the UK recently and he said was there anything I could get him um, and there's a mob over there that make a custom Apple keyboard for the PC which has the shortcut for the audio program I'm using uh, at university um, and it was $10 uh, well, ten pounds, which is twenty bucks Australian, but um, Amazon was blocking me buying it. So I said, if you could get the keyboard for me and send it over, that'd be fantastic. You know, ten bucks, his currency, maybe ten bucks post here, twenty bucks, and uh, it's a cheap, cheap uh, fix for him. You know, he was uh, um, out of action; he couldn't do his business stuff. So I fixed it up for him. So let's move on to the box. Okay, so we got our cool little box here. I've um, opened it up a little bit already. So let's. Um, so first of all, it came with some packing, which was good. So we'll put the packaging aside, and that's the sort of material you can place a motherboard on top as well. I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's have a look what we have in here. See if I can get the right camera angle. So we have. A 32 gig micro SS no SSD sorry micro SD with adapter so it's a, a little really little one but it's got the adapter I'm actually filming with the exact same thing so this will actually be going in da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. once I get the price tag off it so it was 600 went down to 550 and then it went down to 350 so this is the Sony action cam 4k uh, FDR X 1000 V say that three times quick so that'll be really sexy we'll have a look at that in a second all right so I got my little external uh, box as you can see so basically it is similar to, and I've already got one of these, it's going to be one of these. Okay, so this is a WD Elements. I will recommend buying one of these if you ever see one in the shop. It's got a 650 gig SATA drive in it. Really good. I used that when I went to Japan. Worked out really good. Alright, so the last thing in here, and we'll check our box away, is, okay, now this is a... V, v Pro V300 gaming mouse and it was the last one in stock and they had to ship it from Sydney to Melbourne and then I got it shipped from Melbourne to Brisbane Alrighty, so that's the little mouse there it's a gaming optical mouse I think it was about $30 could have been $35 um, but I like the design of it it's getting me out of um, trouble Right at the moment, I'm using <laughs> my very old $5 basic Microsoft 
mouse and I think it's actually called the basic mouse um, really shit actually but the cord on it's great this is like six seven years old this mouse I stopped using it a while got the Cougar one um, it's called stuffed up I've got to send that one away I may even just chop it apart and fix it so what should we have a look at first I think we'll look at the hard drive and um, if anyone's thinking that's what I used to use on my camera uh, a 4 gig Lexart and I'd have to record it transfer it record it transfer it onto hard drive lots of stuffing around alrighty so we may not even have to ooh, there we go we just push it how easy is that alrighty so little box here it says Orc, Orco I think that's it O-R-I-C-O comes in a little fancy case and you've got the actual drive unit there so let's open it up some more and see what else we got here Alrighty, so we got some sort of weird sticker foam thing USB 3 cable so the old one was two this is USB 3 uh, we got a manual and and the customer support so we don't need that so we'll put that back at the moment because I know how to hook up the hard drive and I don't know why we got that but we'll throw that in alrighty alrighty let's open this up alrighty fancy USB 3 cable and you can tell it's USB 3 because it's got the blue on the back there so this should go really fast I've also recently got a USB 3 16 gig stick and it's really nice it goes about 28 mega second just in USB 2 all right so we've got our cable let's um oh yeah and this is a, a red one I'm not sure if you guys can see that too well we'll take off this fancy plastic alrighty so as you can see it's red there black on there you got the data whoops data lead there and some sort of light alrighty so uh, this might be it so we may have to actually look at the manual to find out what the trick is oh no there we go aha push it uh, slides off well, that was easy enough sliding off and it's even a bit grubby inside righty so we will get our hard drive out of my little anti-static bag yeah righty and all we have to do is actually slide this down onto that and then it would work so I mean there's no tools needed righty so let's just in like that and we slide that back without ruining it crunch and that's it ba -ba -dum -da -dum -da -dum. and then we connect up our lead and then you've got a USB 3 lead so for 15 bucks we now have a really fast way of storing my uni documents my music files because I deal with music so for example one song might be like two gig of music files so I think that's a really good investment and um, that will be able to go in my uni bag or even my pocket or whatnot so yeah, nice good toy alrighty so um, won't open that one at the moment we'll have a look at the mouse next and hopefully I won't run out of film time <laughs> alrighty so having a look at the mouse V300 Let's see how we have to open this up Let's cut that without hopefully wrecking anything aha dun 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 dun, dun. it slides open flashy flashy Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up wrecking the box in the process of trying to work this. It's 
have it there. Another one. Yeah, it's so much plastic stickers. Aha! Dun 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 dun! Finally! Alright. Alrighty, let's get the uh, plastic off there. Ah. More plastic! Plastic. So let's have a look if there's anything in the box here. And there's a manual, that looks like. I really like that. It's actually fit into the cardboard quite well. So we have our little warranty thing. Check out the plastic away again. So we have a CD. What are CDs? And we have a mouse manual, um, which is mostly not in Australian. Now, a lot of you guys might go, oh, I don't have a US, I, I don't, I don't have a CD-ROM anymore. So what I actually have, and this is a really cool toy to get. The diffuser has been recovered. A little bit dusty at the moment, but this is a USB external DVD burner. Uh, it uses two USB leads and I got it for $35 um, off UMAP many many years ago. It's been great. Um, primary installing drivers, uh, reinstall windows, uh, booting up Linux on a live disk, great little device. You can then go to jump to machine to machine machine not need to actually physically put it in the machine because most machines these days from around the socket 775 days um, all boot through USB so you've got no dramas there alrighty so we've got our cool little mouse here let's see if I can zoom up there Zoom up here. Looks pretty snazzy, I think. Scrolly wheel, another button there. You got three buttons over there. No buttons over here. So I think it'll be pretty good. So let's hook it up. Um, and it may actually stop the recording. So I won't do that. Sorry. But um, yeah, I'll cut the video off here. I'll do the camera in another separate video but um i'm pretty stoked that i have a new mouse to replace the old shitty one i can game again at fast optical dpi-ness whatever they have they even got a button under there which i have no clue what it does but um yeah i'll hook it up i'll see if this uh, hard drive works and thanks for watching please feel free to like subscribe comment and your feedback is always welcome have a great week bye